All right, hi everyone. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the weather. Anyway, so before I do your May forecast, let me do a like a, a collective for you. Okay. So this is whatever comes out. All right. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Someone is waiting for you or you're waiting for this person. Probably they have Pisces and Aries in their chart. I just give it a second, okay? All right. I don't know if you heard it, but I have to blow my nose. Okay. Um, So like what I said, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, okay. Uh, just give me some. Okay, okay I'm sorry for the glare. Okay, there. I think it's much more visible when I change the angle. Okay, so this person might have, you know, they, they might have like a Pisces or Aries in their chart. There was like a lie in the past. This is like a, you know, basically the past again. Um, this person is still waiting. I don't know. I'm... I'm just, I'm seeing someone is waiting for an apology or waiting to apologize. And they're kind of a little bit devastated with lies that you have said. Or there was like a lie that in the past, you know. And this person might also be getting some readings because they have a lot of questions. They have a lot of, you know, like there are a lot of unanswered questions in their head. They're trying to be happy, okay? And it's like they're juggling, okay? It's like they're trying to bring back balance into their life. They're showing the world how successful they are. They're marching or sporting their success to other people. But this person, you know, even though that they are a part of a larger society, they're not really happy. Their friends are actually like mostly fake friends. <laughs> All right, they're mostly fake friends. And I don't really feel like, you know, they're... It's like this person is trying to show 
a different side of them in front of other people. Okay, they want to show like I'm the king, you know, I roar, I owe the jungle, you know, like I'm strong. Yeah, this person wants to show that bravado. It's actually fake bravado, but, you know, they just want to, to let other people th know that they're indestructible, that they're, they're strong, okay? But this person, okay, you were so enamored with this person's presence in the past. Okay, you cared for this person, you have genuine feelings, genuine intentions, but this person is fake. They're two-faced, all right? They're, it's like they're trying to show to other people or to the world, like, oh, you know, like, I don't care about that person, you know, like, um, that's not my type, or it's too far. If you think I'm going to go for that person? Ew, no. <laughs> all right? That, this person is too hypocrite. But whenever they're alone, this person is so obsessed with you. And they're already having a hard time keeping their feelings to themselves. All right. This person is actually obsessed or they also have some, I don't know, unhealthy habits, addictions, obsession, stalking, drinking. It's more of their karma from what I can see here. They try to walk away. Oh, they even use magic on you. Because what this person wants you to do is to fill up their ego. But you are stronger than that. They do not know you. It seems like you collective... Oh. I mean, right now, you're already married. Or you could be living with someone, domesticated, already in a relationship with a Taurus, but it's going to be over soon. Why will this be over soon? This... Mm, lessons have already learned, and at the same time, your person is still pining for another person. Okay, and they're, they're the ones going to be moving on. They could be dealing with a water sign. They're not really happy. And at the same time, they're just waiting for the right time to escape. I mean, that's fine, you know. When you're actually with somebody who is, you know, with someone who is... Um, you know, with someone who's not really being true and honest with you... The universe is the one that will be giving you the knife to cut off the rope that's been binding the two of you. You're going to have a brand new beginning. And collective, upon your brand new beginning, okay, you're, you're the architect of your own life, of your own future. You will be mapping out this time, you know, what you're going to do. And each and every new beginnings that you're going to be getting in touch to, because you're so distracted right now because of the person that you're with. You're so distracted right now. This person is like an energy vampire. Whatever it is that you have, they're sucking you dry and they're draining you. And probably you even look different now, you know, because of this person. But once this person finally walks away, whenever they walk away and something goes wrong in your relationship, don't stop them. Because some of you will be like, no, let's work it out. Let's go to the shrink or let's go to a couple's therapy or let's go on a vacation, have some bonding. But if you actually notice that in each and every, I don't know, angle that you look or see or look into or see, you know, in this relationship, you feel like something is, something's just not working. It's like in each and every passage or possible outlet, it's blocked. You feel like, why? Because the universe is trying to give you enough space to make a decision. It's time for you to cut it off. Lessons have been served. Contracts have been sold out. Okay, it's done. It's good. It's time for you to part ways. Okay. You've already paid off your karmic debt. Time to move on. But what you're doing right now you're with the person that you're with, not the person that you're thinking about or that you're this other person, okay? 
So this is more of a love triangle. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Basically, from what I can see here, you're going to be rebuilding yourself. If you look so different right now, you look so dry, you look so old or something like that, it is actually because that this person is sucking you dry. Your energy right from the very beginning, there has been, you know, like a lot of red flags that's already been flashing before you in the past. And you were not happy. You are not happy, but you're trying to stay just to do the right thing. And now the universe feels like, you know what, you're so stupid. Get out of get out of that relationship. You don't have the balls right now to cut it off. You feel stuck. You're trying to make a decision. All right. And little by little, you're trying to move into a different direction. Okay. If your person right now will find another lover, let them be. Okay. I didn't know that it's no longer recording. So, um, I don't know. So, let's, let me, okay. So, let me just uh, catch up if ever that there, that you have missed something. Now, <coughs> now things are going to be changing. You are going to be pointed out to the right person. Okay. To the person that you're really meant to be with. And, it seems like you're still going to be taking care of this person financially until the time comes that they're able to get up on their own feet or get right back up. Now, this person, the other person that you're dealing with is also standing at a crossroads. Their family is backing them up. I feel like this person is the one who will be extending their olive branch to you because they've been so cruel and mean and very... You know, this person is very uh, discriminating towards you in the past. And probably this person feels like, oh my God, no. You know, like they made you look and the way they describe you, the way they react towards you, you know, like they made it appear like you're the most awful person they've ever seen in their life. Okay. But this person doesn't even know you. They're very judgmental. They're two-faced. They're hypocrite. And they're, you know... It's like they're living their life in a very superficial way. But when this person is actually alone, they're so obsessed with you. They're stalking you. They want to know what are you up to. They're trying to cover. or they're trying to cover up whatever it is that you can find about them. But, you know, like they are the one who's actually looking into your information. Now... Okay, so now this, because look at this, they're trying to study you. So now this person, I feel like this person is also going to discover your health issues. Some of you are going through some medical issues or health issues, but you're going to be overcoming that. Some of you actually wants to go overseas or wants to migrate, but right now your resources and your uh, the opportunities right in front of you is kind of limited. Some of you wants to be reunited with a, um, with a, uh, what do you call this? With a loved one, probably a family member, sister, sibling. All right. <clears throat> it's like you want to be reunited with this one, with your family. This year, collective, you might go through some medical condition or medical issues or hopefully not, but, you know, you might actually go through some surgery, okay? You might have to um, get a recovery for like four weeks, four months. Yeah, but the problem here is I don't really feel like someone's going to be taking care of you. 
if you will be asking this other person that's going to be leaving your life, you know, the one that you're with right now, they're just going to betray you. So don't. All right, don't. Now let's take a look. I'm not going to be doing any um, extended for this because I still have to do your still have to do your May forecast. Let's take a look. What is going to be the outcome? And I want to know who you're going to be ending up with. What the other person is going to be doing. All right, sunglasses, grounding, love call. You're going to hear from this person. See, I told you, they're, they're stalking you. And they're also trying to, you know, to, to ground themselves. They're starting to realize the clarity and truth. Oh, somebody, ah, I told you. Someone here gets some addiction. I don't know, maybe someone's using some substance, drinking too much. Just give me a second. Yeah, the weather here is actually crazy. I mean, it's not really that hot, surprisingly. Knowing that the city is actually being surrounded by a lot of water, but... <coughs> yeah. All right, cut down. Karmic relationship. You're going to be cutting down your karmic relationship, which as I told you, it's the other one. Now, you are going to be asked, you're going to be asked uh, by somebody, well, this other person, okay, that's been stalking you. Uh, they're also going to, they're the one to talk to you, just to know the truth. Twin flames. Yeah, twin flames are actually a very difficult kind of a... Um, um, a difficult kind of a situation if you're already with your soulmate please take care of that connection okay did not fuck it off did not mess it up because after you know dealing with a soulmate and you messed it up the the connection four to seven years of bad luck you're gonna be dealing with a lot of your karmics okay it's unlimited by the way and at the end of it will be the lesson of the lesson and it's the twin flame the twin flame is you're going to be faced with your shadows, all of your, it's like you're going to be put in a room where you have to see all of your, you know, all of your shortcomings and, you know, your, your immaturities, everything that you've done to other people. You're going to be faced that by force and there's nothing you can do but to admit it to yourself and, you know, change it. It's like you're going to be in a daze or you're going to be in a, a different dimension. All right, then you just need to admit, like, what did you do? What are you guilty of? What, are you, what is your secret? Okay. So the twin flame is just like that. And once you finally get out of it, you're already healed. You finally, you know, like, um, admit to yourself, like, what is it, you know, that you did in the past? And that's the time that you're going to be healing. And that's the time that you are going to be reunited with the new and reborn you and the other person. I mean, it's not that bad if you're actually an honest person. That is, if you are. Okay, narcissist. This one is a narcissist. Okay. Cupid's arrow. Poker face, taking a chance, risks and options, not showing a hand, gambling, girl with a snake. You need to enable boundaries for this person. Heartbroken. Mm -hmm. So we got coffin. Something's going to be ending. Uh... Yeah, this other person, this girl with a snake actually has a lot of options. So good luck to your STD. 
paradise, happiness, and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon face, engagement ring. Remember I told you that one of you is going to get sick right before you'd even realize that this person is actually the right one for you in death. There will be an ego death or there will be... Yeah, cutting ties, moving on. Butterfly. Shock. The snake. This person that you're dealing with, the other person that you're dealing with, needs a lot more healing. They're still going through the dark night of the soul and being, you know, they're, they're being shaken. They're being shaken, okay? Uh, to face their own mirror. Okay, hold on. I want to know. Sorry about that. I want to know, like, give me four cards. For the other person that they're dealing with. Well, they're not, it's not that you're dealing with this person, but this is like an energy that you're dealing with. This is somebody from the past. Freedom, surrender, call. I, I, I told you, you're going to hear from this person. Intuition, inner knowing, missing and thinking of you. What's going to happen to the other person that you are with right now that you're about to go into separation? Divine intervention, time for reflection. Yep. It's the universe that will be, you know, like interfering and intervening. Like, it's time for you to change. Uh, Non-committal, independent party having fun. I feel like this is the other person, though. Marriage, sacred union. Oh, you're still going to be getting married to this other person. Give me the final outcome. Three cards, fears, afraid. Magnetic attraction. Okay, you're going to have a family. But it's up to you which one you're going to decide to. The one who's always afraid. And the one with a very magnetic attraction. That's the one that you're going to have a family with. Whoever this is. All right. Anyway, if you want to talk to me live in the phone, live in the coast, just go visit me at my website, sfeclairpoint.com. Blessings to you.